In this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of your SneedJet Titan, its features and functionality. We'll start with the print, uh, the system settings button, this gear here. And in this menu, you just have some basic system settings. Um, so your print voltage and pulse width are specific to your cartridge. We have an auto jet feature for automatic printing, um, bypassing the sensor. We have a password screen. You can set the date on your printer so that you have the accurate date. And if you wanted to do some customization with um, spelling out the full month instead of just the abbreviation, you can do those things in here. You can pick your language. Um, you will see you have several different options here. Um, serial port for anybody using serial uh, port communication. Network options for um, setting up your network. So in the screen, you do need to manually enter this information. And then we have an about device screen here, just giving you some basic printer information. Never update your printer unless you've spoken to our technical support first. So now let's go ahead and go to the next screen. And we'll just move over here, keep moving down this line. See here, it looks like a small calculator. This is the counter behaviors, setting the print counter and the um, inserted message counters. So some of this is relevant to message creation and we'll go over that more in the video on how to create your uh, print counter. This is over here where you can click that and this is just where you can enter into um, advanced settings you can uh, with a developer password this is also something um, that you'll need to get in touch with your technical support team about so then we can move on over here to the print settings button and this is where you'll find all of the global print settings these settings are what affect your print message how you're going to set your print speed as you see here we have dpi to begin with under the parameter screen and you can pick which nozzle line you're printing with um, this is more of a troubleshooting tool there. Now we can go ahead and go to the print head section. We have some more settings here. Um, depending on the model of Titan printer you got, you can choose what, how many print heads you want to use. So if you had a Titan 40 series and you had four print heads, but today you only want to use two of them because you're printing a one inch message, you can select that and you'll see it gives me some more options here. We have a global delay here, which changes this offset value for each one of these print heads. So each print head has its own offset value or delay. And then you can set them manually here one by one if need be. And you see we, have, we can enter whatever information we want here. Now we have direction and you see it gives you um, an illustration of um, the direction there. Now onto print mode. And you'll see we can pick um, whether you're using an internal signal or an external signal. The Titan doesn't have an internal um, signal up anyway, so this option will never be used. Um, and then if we can enable the sound, this is just an indication that your print is done. Or the encoder wheel, if you purchased one of those, you'll need to go here and enable that there. Now here we have our repeat print function where we can set the printer to print multiple times using only a single trigger. And then if we were using a UV lamp, we have that uh, functionality here as well. So now moving on, we can go, I'm going to skip load file and we'll go over that in just a moment. If we go here to create file, this is where you're going to create your printed messages. Um, now you can create any message that you need here. Um, you can also import messages that you've created on your computer. So you'll see um, we have a couple of zoom options here, um, bringing things um, forward or backwards in the, the print. And then this is positioning these items as we place them. So these six buttons down here at the bottom you see are for placing your printed items or objects as we'll call them. So for example, if I press the T for text, you'll see I get the words input text and I can go ahead and enter that text there. We'll go into more detail about creating your, these messages and future videos. We have a time feature, so doing your expiration dates um, or your production dates and those uh, items. We have a counter, so we talked a little bit about the counter earlier in the video. We set the behaviors from that main screen and then simply select which counter we want to use in our printed message. 
if I select the mountains here, this picture here, it pops up with image so we can upload images. And that's what I mean um, by uh, you can create messages however you want and upload them as an image. Barcodes. Um, most of a lot of our customers are wanting to use barcodes, QR codes, and you have lots of several different options here to choose from. And all you need to do is enter your information and uh, the printer will generate that barcode for you. Next, we have a shift code option here, as you see. So those are kind of your basic options. We also have, um, you'll see an external data manager option here. We'll go over that more in another video, but this is just sending and receiving um, information to your printer or sending information to your printer. It's not going to receive, I apologize. Um, but it, sending messages and things, there's another software package that we will go over and, and how to do that. So anyway, let's go ahead and just press cancel here and we'll go back to the main screen. The last thing we'll talk about is the load file option. So I have a couple messages here. Um, you know, the default message and things that are already here and some that I've created for videos and the like. I can just click one and you'll see. If I do that, we can just load that message to print. And now we are ready to print that message. So this is just where you're gonna find all of the messages that you want to, um, that you have created in the past and you want to print at a later date. Over here, it'll show you your counter, your delay value and your DPI. And you also have your current ink levels here. Your start button is to enable print mode. Other than that, you have a power button here on the side of the printer, a couple ports, and this is the basic rundown. Thank you for watching.